this past week of the NFL, there was a lot of historical achievements made. So we're going to go game by game, recapping some of those historical achievements. We're going to start off with the obvious game, Dolphins versus Broncos. The Dolphins were the first team to have 350 plus passing yards and 350 plus rushing yards in a single game. The Dolphins had the second most yards in a game with 726 behind the 1951 Rams, who had 735 versus the New York Yanks. That was also the same game Norm Van Brocklin threw a record seven touchdowns in a game. The Dolphins' 70 points is tied for the third most points in a game. They are tied with the 1950 Rams, who scored 70 against the Baltimore Colts. The regular season record is 72 with the formerly known as Washington Redskins in 1966, who scored 72 against the New York Giants. The overall record is 73 by the Chicago Bears in their 1940 NFL championship win over the Washington Redskins. The Dolphins are the second team in NFL history to have two running backs score four touchdowns in the same game. Priest Holmes and Derek Blaylock did that with the Chiefs in 2004. Now on the Ravens versus Colts. Kyle Hamilton tied the NFL record for most sacks in a first half and a game by a defensive back ever with three and the most by a Ravens player in the first half of a game ever. Colts kicker Matt Gay is the first kicker to kick four field goals of 50 yards or more in a game. On to Lions versus Falcons, Aiden Hutchinson became the first player in NFL history with 10 or more sacks and three or more interceptions in a player's first 20 games. Lions rookie tight end Sam Laporta is the first tight end in NFL history with five or more catches in each of their first three games. Now Vikings versus Chargers. Keenan Allen tied the third most catches in a game with 18. He tied that mark with Jason Witten, Brandon Marshall, and Tom Fears. Keenan Allen surpassed Lance Allworth for the most receiving yards for a wide receiver in Chargers history. Keenan Allen now has the most games with 15 or more catches in NFL history with three. Keenan Allen joined Jerry Rice as the only players to have a game with 10 or more catches, 100 or more receiving yards, and a touchdown pass of 40 yards or more in a game. Justin Herbert joined Lamar Jackson as the only quarterbacks to ever have 400 or more passing yards, three or more passing touchdowns, no interceptions, and an 85-plus completion percentage in a game. Kirk Cousins broke a tie with Tommy Kramer to have the second-most passing touchdowns in Vikings history with 162. Moving on to Jaguars and Texans, C.J. Stroud has the most passing yards by a rookie to start their career before throwing their first interception. He still has yet to throw one. C.J. Stroud also has the third most passing yards through his first three games in NFL history with 906. Rookie wide receiver Tank Dell broke a Texans record with 145 receiving yards, which was the most by a rookie in team history. Moving on to Chiefs and Bears, Andy Reid surpassed Tom Landry for the fourth most wins in NFL history with 249. Patrick Mahomes became the fastest player to reach 25,000 passing yards. He did so in 83 games. Cardinals versus Cowboys. Matt Prater tied Brett Maher for the most field goals made in NFL history from 62 plus yards. They both have three. In the Packers versus Saints game, the Packers tied their largest fourth quarter comeback in franchise history with 17 points. In Browns versus Titans, Miles Garrett surpassed Bill Glass for the most combined unofficial and official sacks in Cleveland Browns history with 79. Raiders are Steelers. Devontae Adams tied Andre Johnson for the second most games with 10 or more catches in NFL history with 22. He's one game away from the most, which is set by Antonio Brown. Patrick Pearson broke the tie with Harrison Smith for the most interceptions for an active player in NFL history with 35. And our final statistic from the Buccaneers versus Eagles game, Jalen Hurts passed Cam Newton and Josh Allen for the most rushing touchdowns by a quarterback in his first 50 NFL games with 29 in 48 games. I doubt this week is going to have as many historical achievements as last week, but we'll find out. 